You tricky bitch. Yeah, damn it. Ah! Asshole. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Keep missing these assholes. Got him. Damn it, cat. Got a third person shooter, this bitch. Is that what we're Yep. That was to teach you. Good foul, that was rigged. Jerk. Okay. Don't love that God gave you his phone number. <laughs> Constantly. To be fair, in the, forever. To be fair, in the base game, you can do that with the click ball. Yeah, this but this is why we always open with the turn one click ball. Okay, yeah. quick balls are a terrible example because that's specifically designed. That's specifically designed to do that. Remember, quick balls were made better. Uh, Seek out all Pokemon. That mm -hmm. object's an arc phone, you say? What an odd device. Could it be guiding you somehow? Uh, just got the digits of God! Uh -huh. Also, would it, and because we were sent back in a time, shouldn't uh, that, like, really, really fuck up the, you know, timeline in some way? Isn't there some time travel theory that says you should never interact with your ancestors? Hey, Fry became his own grandfather and that worked out. Yeah, it's funny you said that because I was going to make a joke about the male and female characters in this, obviously, especially if you pick their default hair colors and don't pick the other ones, are clearly modeled after Don and uh, Lucas. And uh, because of that, and like, again, because you can pick either one of them and they are basically like you know plucked from the future you could uh, possibly if you wanted to get kind of dark and edgy was this imply a similar thing at some point uh oh, i thought i was going to sneeze what muting the mic or cutting is for ah um, mic's working now Okay. Uh, and because some people complain that the opening of this game is kind of slow. To explain the uh, reasons I don't uh, like Syndicon. One, I believe it's based that total is literally Charizard's again. And uh, two... It is exactly Charizard. Damn it, cat! Alternate, alternate dialogue choice. I might leave in. Well, uh. Okay, it's one of those "but thou must" kind of choices. Yeah. I just wanted to see what he said. And two, the much more petty uh, reason is uh, back uh, before, like. 
back before X and Y came out, a lot of people said that Chespin looked like a normal type wearing a grass hoodie. Change grass to fire? That is literally what Cyndaquil is. It was a normal type that was made a fire type because the fire starter of Gen uh, 2 was scrapped. The old one was that bear design. You can pull up the uh, either beta art or the beta sprite from that uh, demo people ROM hacked years uh, later to prove my point. There was a bear starter that never got used. It, the original fire starter for Gen 2 was supposed to be a bear power con, but that seems to have been sort of reworked partly into, like, Ursa Ring. And because the first form of it was, I think, kind of, like, spherical, some people think that was also sort of reworked into Meryl. And, uh, huh. Now, I mean, uh, granted, to be fair, you know, at the time, especially because fuck X and Y came out like 2013, uh, no one would have known that, like, piece of history at the time that it was literally a random normal type that they just slapped the fire type onto. But even out outside of not knowing that, that's still what its design is. Typhlosion is literally a honey badger with fire. I mean, you're not technically wrong. Right now, this... I wanted to jump on this game because this game is... We're not at the point uh, that <laughs> people have been made angry yet. That's why I wanted to mm -hmm. vent about my personal hatred for Cyndaquil. Also, choice, uh, uh, like, choice specs or choice scarf eruption is fucking skillless and brain dead. What's, f what's funny about that, though, and this was, like, you, that, yeah. I'm just seeing what the different bodies In a are. lot of ways, you're right, except in this, because, uh, my mind is all over the place. I was trying to make a point, but this is really damn funny. It was a competitive battle because Tailwind didn't exist and a Choice Scarf is only 50% more speed. Someone ran into a Cinequil that was trying... It was a, well, They were fighting a Typhlosion and their opponent was clearly in doubles trying to spam Eruption, but because they had a rain team, they were faster and the Typhlosion never got to do anything. Uh, but, uh. Rain was up, Typhoon just died. Funny. What? Funny. Because they didn't have a Tailwind support. It couldn't become faster than the Rain team. Uh -huh. I, think it, I think they were using Ludicolo, and I think it just died to Skull. That would make sense. That would be Sab super effective Rain boosted. And because <laughs> Ludicolo in the remakes is like faster than every uh, nearly everything that might be modest as well typhlosion specifically as a funny example in the remake without good tailwind control whether like rain or a really hard triggering team makes typhlosion pretty easy to just basically make irrelevant mm -hmm. that was the funnier part of that the typhlosion didn't get to do jack shit Because, you know, it's like a, a galaxy team and her uh, name shit. Is that supposed to be Cyrus Ancestor? It's implied that way. Uh-huh. <laughs> ah, she's in Among Us. Yeah, I know. Mm, the memes, because it's a fucking video game named Among Us, so now the phrase Among Us is just cringing over it. It's just like Sus, even though that <laughs> shortening existed before the game. I'm just thinking about <laughs> Glamrock, Freddy's voice actor doing that one 
saying, Have you heard of... You see that vid on the floor, Gregory? Have you heard of Among Us, Gregory? Do you need to fit, Gregory? I know it'll be pretty hard for you to be sus. <laughs> but you see, the joke is that it's a cringy meme. No, there's a take of that where he's laughing too hard where you can't even understand what he said. <laughs> How long have we been recording? About 30 minutes. God damn, and I literally just walked forward. A brilliant scientist. Yes. <laughs> yes, he said eh, that he's a scientist. I. I uh, the, the because of you know the time America got like the ocean dub and shit, the Bardock special did exist at that point, didn't it? I don't know. I'm going to assume so. Damn it! We really need to find a different place for those. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a bottle of hangers. <laughs> are terrible then mm -hmm. that's pretty bad dude yeah so uh, you're so like you're so far back in uh, a time no one has like ever caught a Falcon ever but are we far enough back in time where we can marry Pokemon <laughs> because uh <laughs> You, like, you say that, but... I'm referencing... Now, I know what you're doing, but the funny thing about that is that book was actually changed in the remix. I don't remember what it was changed to, but because one of the regional forms in this is the Zoroar, they seem to have now made it to where that was basically Zoroar changing into people and tricking people. That seems to be what they're implying was that now. Because everyone had a fucking field day with this idea that people were canonically marrying and sort of implied to have sex with Pokemon. Because that Japanese text in the original Diamond and Pearl said there was a time where Pokemon and humans were basically ah, hey, hey. indistinguishable. I don't remember the exact uh, uh, wording of this. Some Pokedex entry states that, um, I... And now again, it's not exactly worded this way. States that apparently there are, are surfaces that uh, uh, let women rent out a Machamp to fill its muscles. Yes. Take that however you will. Who wouldn't, though? <laughs> you say who wouldn't, though, but... Uh, like, now uh, this is on the middle form, Machamp, but like, Machamp doesn't have this. Aren't those... Red line's supposed to be exposed muscle tissue. No. Oh. And the champ is the best ride Pokemon. Don't at me. Uh -huh. And if you're like, how the fuck is Machamp a ride Pokemon? He just carries you in his manly arms. It's just funny. It's big enough where you could have maybe been riding on its back. Uh -huh. yeah. That made my mind go to a completely different thing. Which was more amusing than it should have been. I think we're about to get the actual gameplay now. Yay! <laughs> Though I will admit, it doesn't feel like this has been nearly an hour. It's been like half an hour! Yeah, like... You could walk around, talk to other people, and do some other things of bullshit, but I, uh, I, but, uh, because of my bouts of extreme poverty, I'm just not going to. Extreme poverty detected. <laughs> that is the best fucking thing. Yeah, my game, that was not. Yeah. I don't remember the name. It was a roguelike that was inspired off, uh, uh, Mega Man X. I think the game's 20XX. Uh, yeah. Because it's a roguelike, if you don't have enough money for the shops, and it will say extreme poverty detected. <laughs> D 
Don't forget to disable the freaking autosave. I'm, I'm about to. For the love of all that is pure in this world. Uh, well, well, settings. Where the hell would the auto save? Oh, my God! Oh, it's in. Okay, yeah, like because of what it was uh, in between, I noticed the slider before noticing the auto save. I auto save is fine, but because of Pokemon, I like sa saving in front of stuff and resetting. Okay, yep. Text speed is fast, everything else. Oh, it's fast by default. Good game design. Even though people said that the fucking fast by default is still super fucking slow. Uh, and now... Uh, oh, wait, we don't... There is, again, something yep. else. I saw a few people were answering on it. One of the survey tips, based on what it is, but oh, I haven't gotten in there yet, so I can't look at Survey that. says... And then, I guess... I'll just save right here. Scribble, scribble. <laughs> ah, your shoes are off. Because uh, uh, this region is Japanese as fuck, which is uh, kind of hilarious. Because with me, like I picked the blonde hairstyle because I'm actually blonde. Yet blonde hair is a super fucking Western thing. There is like, uh, no. Oh, I saw God Himself for a minute there. Yeah, there were a lot of Hadoops. That's what I was talking about. Oh, I thought you were. I was just talking about like a flash of art. Yes. No! No, <laughs> the fucking Vimero! And in the a Spongebob the next day. It's, it's on one of these hard drives. Because <laughs> yeah, like, this game is... The most sort of outwardly like Japanese Pokemon has been since the first region just being named Kanto, which is just straight out a region in Japan. It is actually the Kanto region of Japan. Yes. They just they... like it's, it's just called Kanto. No, no, it is the Kanto region. Now, granted, it I... is the it is the map of Japan mm. called Kanto. They took the actual map of Japan and they just mm. flipped it. Now, uh, granted, that region, I think, uh, because of the way the language works, you would technically pronounce it Kanto. No, my point is, it's technically pronounced We're in Eagle Land. Yes. I will continue to do that, even though the creator of Earthbound said Eagle Land is not America. Because the Saraba and, um... What's the... What's the name of the ice area in Earthbound? Winters. Oh yeah, it was just straight out Winters. It's because those are still a considerable part of Eagle Land. Eagle Land isn't just like, um, on it and stuff. It's all the other regions, and that's why he says that. Because you have, like, Dalam, which is basically, like, in here. Like I said, the, you know, desert region that's basically, like, Egypt. Winters, which is Canada. Oh, they have light bulbs in here. Why? <laughs> what do you mean? When the fuck was the light bulb invented? <laughs> that is a loaded question. Oh wait, yeah. No, no, you know what? Never mind. Cut that audio. No, that's actually. <laughs> that's why I. No, I... let's actually talk about the light bulb for a minute yeah. because. Thomas Edison is commonly cited as the inventor of the light bulb, but Thomas Edison just basically consumed a bunch of light bulb patterns and improved them, but man basically stole from people that had less money. Yes. Uh, yes. So, who invented the light bulb is an incredibly loaded question, actually. Yes. Though, the thing about that is, though, in general, the fucking light bulb was mostly semi between American and the UK and not yeah. like feudal flipping Japan. Uh -huh. but, yeah. 
it's time for the question of the day and my overall thoughts on the topic. So, anyway, because Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet were just announced, I had a topical question related to those games. How do you feel about those games being the first true open world Pokemon games? In my opinion, I'm kind of unhappy about that because I hate most open world games and find them fundamentally flawed because I feel like difficulty scaling in an open world game is not easy to do, so I feel like I'm probably going to hate these games. I'm also making a small prediction. I feel like everyone will get these games and end up loving these games simply because they are open world and then after the games have been out a while and the mystique wears off, a lot of people will probably notice a lot of flaws they did not see before. This happened with Breath of the Wild. A lot of people praised that game for being a true non-linear open world Zelda game, but once the newness and mystique wore off, a lot of people were finally able to notice that game had a lot of flaws. First off, people were finally more critical of the weapon durability, but more importantly, a lot of people pointed out that this Zelda game has a terrible story because it's completely optional and mostly told through flashbacks that can be viewed in any order. On top of that, people also said the Divine Beasts are not really great as replacements for a more traditional Zelda dungeon, and a lot of people pointed out that because the game is designed to be open and non-linear, that a lot of the shrines can't really be built on different types of unique puzzle logic, because the shrines have to be designed around the player being able to go anywhere. In a more traditional Zelda game, as you progress through a linear structure, you could get different items, so they could build different dungeons around your items and keep stacking concepts on top of each other, making the game get more advanced as you go, meaning linear progression can always end up quite elaborate and give you very unique concepts, so I think this Pokemon game will have the same problem that because it's open and non-linear, we will likely have a weird story progression problem where the story might be incredibly light or told at completely random intervals that don't make any sense. And I could see a lot of people having problems with how this game will possibly handle capturing Pokemon and difficulty scaling that will come from that, but I'm rambling, you can leave your thoughts, opinions, and answers in the comments, or you can leave them on social media. All of my social media links, as well as my Discord link, are in the video description. Now, as always, I need to be a shield for a minute. If you subscribe to the channel, and if you follow me on social media, that really helps our communities grow, but anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I hope I will see you all next time. So, as always, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, everybody. I hope you come back someday. See you later.